All right, y'all, it is time for another paranormal adventure. Everybody say hello to Frederick. I thought it would be perfect to begin today's paranormal journey right where we left off last time. Just in case you guys didn't know, I did come to this very graveyard about two weeks ago. I did a ghost box session with Frederick here. Just in case you want to get caught up on this location and kind of my experiences here at this graveyard, I'll go ahead and link you guys to that video in the info box down below. Since I filmed the last paranormal video, I actually found a new piece of equipment. And honestly, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I brought you guys out with me today to test this out. Now, this is a paranormal music box. Brand new, just got it came with no instructions whatsoever. Frederick, maybe you can help us out today. Hopefully the ghosts know what to do with this more than I do. Basically, I think it's meant to function as a trigger object. A lot of times when people are doing paranormal investigations, they'll sometimes bring objects to try and get the ghosts to communicate, i.e. a lot of times people will bring like teddy bears or other toys if they are investigating a place that is believed to be haunted by children, or if you do know the, the full-on history of maybe a home or some kind of place that you're investigating, you can bring a trigger object to try and get the ghosts to communicate with you in another way. We're gonna see if uh, we can capture any spirits out here today, if they will want to set off this music box. Like last time, I do have my ghost box here and I'm just gonna turn all this stuff on for just like two or three minutes here with Frederick. We did spend a lot of time with him when we were visiting last time. To just briefly touch on something that I brought up last time, I'm not really sure if the spirit box interactions that we're capturing out here, if it is an intelligent haunting, can I ask pointed questions to the spirit box and get intelligent answers that seem to correspond with the questions that I'm asking? Or does it seem like we are interacting with a residual haunting, i.e. we can hear the spirits speaking through the spirit box, but they're not necessarily answering any kind of question that I'm asking of them. It doesn't necessarily matter if I'm here or not, if that makes any sense. So will the spirits want to communicate with us today via a music box? Will we get some spikes on this? Will we hear nothing at all? I have no idea, that and more. If you stay tuned and watch the rest of this video, Today's video is sponsored by Casetify, and you guys know that I have been a huge fan of Casetify's cases for just about as long as I've had a YouTube channel. They are always coming out with amazing new collabs and collections, and you never know who they're gonna collab with next. One of my recent favorite collabs they did is with the Louvre, and I'm still obsessed with my Mona Lisa da Vinci case, but Casetify cases are super cute and fashionable, but they are also extremely protective. Their impact cases can withstand drops from up to 6.6 feet, and their ultra impact cases can withstand drops from up to 9.8 feet. No joke. They've got these bumpers embedded inside the case, and that gives you extra protection from drops. But not only do Casetify cases protect you from drops, they protect you from breaking your phone, but they also protect you from the scariest thing on the planet to me, which is germs. Because all Casetify cases have an antimicrobial coating, so it keeps your case germ-free because it kills up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Casetify's impact and ultra-impact cases are made from 50% recycled materials, so you can feel good about your phone looking great. Like I was saying at the beginning, Casetify is always making new collabs and collections, but if you look on their website and you don't see any of these like pre-made collab cases that you like, Casetify also has so many customizable options. You can put your name or a nickname, or they have a lot of like monogramming options 
if that's what you like. So just be sure and click the first link in the info box. Check out all of their cool collabs and customization options. They are definitely the cutest, most protective and stylish phone cases on the market. So be sure to go to casetify.com slash graveyard girl to get 15% off of your new phone case today. So that's casetify.com slash graveyard girl. Click the link down below, get a brand new phone case and save 15%. Thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. And thank you guys so much as always for checking out and supporting today's sponsor. Okay, now back to the video. So I thought I would just turn on this new equipment here and just very quickly do a little spirit box session here with Frederick for about five minutes. Seems like this was a pretty active area when I was out here about two weeks ago. It sounds like we captured the discussions between what sounded like a female voice and a male voice. So once again, maybe there is some kind of conversation going on here, but I'm going to be asking just random questions. Once again, I touched on this in the last video. I don't know who these individuals are. I don't know anything about their lives, unfortunately. I just know the feelings that I get when I spend time out here, when I used to come just about every single day. I also think I found out a way this time to alter the sweep rate. I know that a lot of you guys were asking if I could slow the audio down even more last time. I think a lot of you guys thought that it was a little bit difficult to hear and understand and sometimes it is. I'm always so appreciative when you guys are leaving me comments down below, adding your own interpretations to what you guys hear that we're capturing on the spirit box. And also it would be so great if some bilingual Swamp family members can maybe help see if we can capture anything in other languages. Several people thought that they heard words in Spanish last time. I would be so grateful to hear you guys, you know, interpret those responses as well. So let's work as a team here. Let me know what you guys think that we hear and capture. We might get another, you know, great ghost box session today, or we might not capture anything at all. Um, I have definitely had times in the past where I will literally bring every piece of equipment out and you don't capture something every single time. So without further ado, let's just say quickly in advance. We are extremely thankful for anybody that feels comfortable to speak with us today. We're just trying to be open and loving and I would like to give anybody out here an opportunity. If you have a message to give or something that you would like to say, please let's hear it. We would love to give you guys the opportunity to speak. No pressure if you don't feel comfortable communicating. You don't have to, but I just would like to say that I come here with love and respect. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on the spirit box and then I'm going to turn this guy on. <laughs> it's so loud at first. It is bad. It is bad. It is bad. It is bad. It is Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wow. I think I'm gonna do a couple of different sweet modes this time. So that seems kind of fast. Let's do that for a while. That's about what I... Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 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 
guys let me know if you want it to play.
Once again, I have to split this video out into two parts. So now there's two second parts waiting to be edited. Whew. I'm hoping I'll be able to just get the other parts up 
like really soon within the next week, hopefully. It seems like we got some very interesting responses today. I have to admit, I don't 100% know how I feel about the music box yet. It seems almost to me like maybe a little distracting, at least to myself, because I feel like sometimes I was just like concentrating on the spirit box like I normally do. And then sometimes I was trying to see if I could get responses by the music box starting and stopping playing. That does not sound like a grammatically correct sentence. And so, I don't know, I feel like maybe having two competing pieces of equipment going at the same time, maybe futuredly going forward, it doesn't make sense to have like two things like that running at once. Like maybe I need to try a little bit with just the music box on its own and then do a spirit box session. But I guess I was trying to see if I could get the music box to start playing and then to get a response from the spirit box that acknowledged the music box. Whew, what a concept. And a couple of times it did seem like we were getting a response like at the same time or right after the music box started playing. But I don't know, like I'm kind of just conflicted about it because I just like to really engage with the voices that might be speaking to me. And so I don't know, I just feel, I don't know if that makes any sense, but like, I just felt like it was distracting me. So I don't feel like I was just like as fully engaged as I normally am with the spirit box. I don't know, I'm kind of like, I don't, I don't 100% know what I feel about the music box yet, but it's interesting. I did record another session. I know I keep mentioning Victor and then I never show you guys Victor, but I now have two, the, the other two parts of these videos are both over there in Victor's area. I did the one two weeks ago where I'm just doing like a ghost box session over there with Victor and I might edit and post that one first and then I'll do like this second half with the music box and the spirit box in Victor's area. Anyway, I was very intrigued by the voices that we captured today. A lot of them sounded distinct, but also different than the voices that we captured in this exact same location two weeks ago. A lot of the voices today sounded um, like whispers, which I'm trying to like boost the audio so hopefully you guys can hear those and I say they're whispers because like I'm not there like touching the microphone or anything and I set everything up the exact same way that I did two weeks ago where we were hearing the voices pretty much at like a at the same level but a lot of them today almost sounded like a little shy a little bit like whispers so I tried the best I could to like hopefully enrich the audio enough that maybe you guys can help me discern like what you're hearing there because anything that I thought I was hearing I did separate out and slow down because you know I'm just like grateful that anyone is attempting to communicate with us and I think like the voices that are whispering are just as important as the voices that are clearer and you know they I, I don't you know and and once again I am just like projecting like maybe some of my feelings on to the whole situation but you know maybe some spirits are out there and maybe they're like a little shy to use this equipment they're unsure so they're just kind of like testing it out so maybe that is the reason for some of these whispered voices but once again none of us unfortunately can know for sure. I also thought it was very interesting that it seemed like there was one consistent female voice that I captured that like any time it would come on there was like a little bit more of a metallic almost like robotic sound and then the voice would come through which to me, that kind of stuff is just really interesting because it's almost like, to me, how we all have different voices. It's almost like the spirits almost have like different sounding voices. I don't know if this is just sounding plain crazy or if you get what I'm trying to throw here. That just seemed really interesting to me. So as far as the music box is concerned, the most interesting bit of footage I got was, um, I said, oh, it sounds like we have a female voice right now. And then the music box started up and stopped playing really quickly. That was one of the couple times today that I think maybe we got a distinctive music box spike that seemed to be like an actual response 
through the music box. Overall, it seems like pretty steady to me. I don't know if it's 100% clear in the footage that you guys just saw, but I had, um, you know, like I have a lot of stuff that I take with me when I do this, and I have a very like thick canvas tote bag. And so I set the music box as low as it could go, where like the little censored bit on the front was covered by the tote bag. And that's kind of like, one of the most interesting aspects to me is you can see even in the footage like my hair is being blown around and it looks like the music box would start and stop playing even though it looked like a decently solid gust of wind. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like it just started playing like right when the wind would start gusting. It would seem like it would come on and off like while the wind was consistently blowing. Sometimes it seemed to start playing when there was no wind at all. And sometimes it seemed like it wouldn't play when there was a strong burst of wind. So hopefully I had it tucked down there enough. Hopefully the wind didn't disrupt it. I keep thinking about like, I don't know, taking a box or something out there with me and like putting all the equipment like inside of a box. Other than that, I think that the next time that I go out there, I'm probably gonna like mic myself a little bit different because that's the only thing that I think was like maybe not that great about this particular video is like my audio was really muted, but there's kind of no way to like bring my audio up without like the super loud cycling. So anyway, the same website where I just got this music box from, they had a couple other like super interesting pieces of ghost hunting equipment that I've never seen or heard of before, like a watch that is supposed to, I don't know. I don't know what, it looks kind of like an Apple watch, but for ghosts. And I saw something else called aura glasses. It's so wild because I feel like the more that I go out there, the more that I want to go, it calls to me. And lately I've just been getting such a positive feeling when I go out there. It really does feel like I'm going out and like visiting friends. <laughs> Literally today while I was like editing this footage, I was like, oh my God, I wish that I could go out there again today. Anyway. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today, for watching and for supporting me in this little adventure that I've started going back out and doing. I absolutely loved reading the comments on the last video, all of the things that you guys heard. And right now I'm like still in the middle of editing the video. So I saw a lot of y'all comment that you really liked when I just was like leaving all the responses ambiguous. And I kind of like that as well, because I feel like I know what I'm hearing, but a lot of times I would rather like hear you guys' interpretation. Next video should be up very, very soon. But yeah, I just feel like maybe once again, it would just get like too overwhelming to just listen to like 45 minutes long. <laughs> I always go there with the intention of like just sitting down, saying hello to Frederick, cause I feel like it's like rude if I don't say hello. And then I'm like, well, I'll just do a quick ghost box session. But then I just sit there and I start to feel guilty if I feel like I'm like not giving them enough time to speak. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's the same as if you just call somebody on the phone and be like, hey, okay, well, I just wanted to say hi, bye. You know, like, I feel like it's kind of like that. Cause I feel like you kind of have to be patient. Like you have to give them a minute to like, see what's going on, you know? If it is intelligent spirits that we're talking to, which once again, I don't know. Some of the voices that we're capturing do seem to be responding and some of them just seem to be saying their own thing, in my opinion. So it almost seems like during one spirit box session, we're getting a mixture of both where we are having an effect on some of them and some of them are just like, you know, they're just, they're having their own conversations and it doesn't really matter what I'm doing or what I'm saying or what I'm asking or what I'm bringing, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna go now, cause once again, I'm rambling. Once you give me talking about this stuff, I could go on forever. So I'm gonna cut myself off here and uh, I will see you guys very soon. Once again, another huge thank you to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, show them some love, check them out in the first link in the info box down below. And uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting me <laughs> during my little like, you know, my, my ghost stuff. Cause you guys know, 
I start to feel comfortable with this stuff and then sometimes I don't and so I don't know. But right now I've really been enjoying it. So I'm just rolling with it as long as I feel comfortable and as long as the people that I'm visiting seem comfortable with everything that's going on, then I'll keep doing it. And if something changes, then something changes, you know? But thank you guys so much for the support and I love y'all so much and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.